Hey, welcome to another Switching to Visual here at Trekland. I'm Larry Nemechek, and you know, I tell you what, boy, one minute, one minute I'm hearing vague rumors about somebody has a Star Trek bridge at their house out here in the valley, and the next time I'm going to the uh, infamous table group Mark Zickrey has of, of uh, Space Command fame now, um, the next minute I'm visiting the pieces of, well, something very iconic, and the next thing I know, I go to Vegas, come home, and there's this overnight internet sensation of my friend, well, I can't say his name, but I'll call him Dallas. Um, and uh, I'm out at his house, here in the valley, and uh, well, let me just show you what he's got. It's created an overnight internet sensation, and before we're done, you'll see why. In fact, here, take a look. Yeah. Have you heard of this? The Enterprise D Restoration Project? Here's the Facebook page. It's been up since, well, how long has it been up, Dallas? Sunday night. Ah, here's my friend Dallas, right here. Right here. He, he would prefer not to be on camera at the moment. Right. People have just gone overboard because everybody's enraptured with the idea. So what was, what, oh my gosh, I look across your living room and what is this I see right here? Those are the two chairs to the left and the right of Picard's captain's chair, of course. Uh, the Troy and Riker chairs. Exactly. Yeah. And these, I, I uh, found out, are from the Vegas experience, or were from the Vegas experience. Right. Uh, since the uh, two chairs, if there were any two chairs originally with this set, uh, they're long gone. But they're damn near pristine condition. The only difference is that they are vinyl as opposed to leather, which they mm -hmm. were in the TV show. And one of the things we're talking about is restoring all of the chairs to as they were in the original TV show. So this would all be real leather. Or again, it was all Paramount created uh, with Zimmerman and with uh, the Okudas. These chairs, again, I do know specifically were from the uh, the Vegas experience. Vegas experience as was uh, the other chair, Data's chair, and his... What Data's chair? Oh, that Data's chair. Correct. This is very cool. Because, yeah, a lot of people need to stop and remember, and if you, especially if you didn't get to see the original experience, there were four bridges done. Hmm. The game was in quadruple, the game, the ride, was quadrupled, and then the Borg encounter, two of those bridges were taken out to make room for the two Borg encounter setups. Oh, my goodness, there they are. Cleverly woven in among all the other stuff in your garage, but there they are. Those are aft, the full-length piece, right? The metal frame, I think. Correct. There's, right? Those are three out of five. So let's let's stop and take a second here on this probably most boring visual of all. But what you have are all these pieces. You have the vast majority of a bridge, and you're doing a, a Kickstarter campaign to... Uh, Indeed. I'm raise. going to be doing a complete restoration of the entire bridge and make it accessible and available to fans, the public, whoever the hell wants to be on right. it. And not for a great money-making venture. This is to just give people, fans like myself, a place to play, a place to go to, a place to watch movies, have fan meetings, whatever the hell they want to do without yeah. someone charging them twenty, fifty, two thousand $2,000 to do it. I even think I recognize those little... Dupers. That looks like a Troy and Riker side console in the horseshoe. Indeed. And there's the other one under this. There you go. Without their L, without their L cars panels. Here are Cuda Grams. The lighted fronts. So I don't quite see your Cheetos supply for your basement. You're obviously living in your parents' uh, basement, right, Dallas? And I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> No, seriously, I think you have a fairly halfway well-adjusted life and making your own way. Well, I'm... you got a good collection, but... Uh, I'm in the industry, I'm in the business, uh, and this... There's a big difference... The, the, what I say is, there's a difference between turning your living room into the bridge of the Enterprise or bringing the Enterprise bridge into your living room. Uh, this was an opportunity that I... 
I had to jump on when I jumped on it because the very next week it was going to be destroyed, literally. It uh, was the end of last year and it was going to be sold for scrap. And I knew if I didn't jump on this, whether how many people, and a lot of people told me I was out of my bloody mind for doing this, I knew if I didn't do it that it was going to become one of those lore stories I could sit back and say, oh, back in 1874 I could have done this and now it's totally destroyed, which mm -hmm. I didn't want to happen. And as of this last weekend, which was the uh, Star Trek con in Vegas, I ran into several heavyweights, including Brandon Braga, including Rod Roddenberry, Eugene, and including uh, Ron D. Moore, who all told me to go for this. And I was going to say, I heard you the whole weekend. Should I stay or should I sell? Indeed. Because I, the one thing I can't do, I, I'm not in the position to go broke over this. Because I did have to pay money for this. This didn't just... It wasn't a lot in comparison, but certainly for me, it was in the thousands and just to ship the damn thing. Yeah. Well, this is a chunk of it, but but this isn't... This is a lot, and it's very cool stuff, but we're in your garage. I mean, there's... you got to have more to make some of this really fly. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, oh, we're going to go out in this heat? Well, this better be good. Um... There's the house. This looks like the undigested remains of a Galaxy Class bridge. Come on, can you sneak peek us a little bit? Uh, Jesus, Where's... certainly. Uh -huh. It's all What's made that? out. Of, it's all made out of fiberglass. Oh, that looks like the uh, ceiling room. It's all ceiling, right? Yeah. People forget about the ceiling because it was all you know over their head a little bit, but. This is an gonna... official uh, Star Trek rotted orange. Okay. Uh... Well, you should auction that and sell something. I mean, you could, you know, start your fundraising there. I have Doran autograph. And... Oh my God! This truly is. Oh no, that's looking like uh, a ceiling piece all or a view pieces. screen frame there. These, these are all part of the ceiling pieces. You can see on that side too. Yep. Oh, there's some superstructure. Okay. Yeah. And more ceiling pieces, and it, it just goes on and on. Yeah. Uh, but obviously you don't want to keep it out here under the tarp as lo any longer than you have to. Oh, God, no. No, as soon as, the, uh, as soon as we can, it will move into a warehouse yeah. where we can start working on it. And we are presently moving pieces of it out as we work on them. So you've got the, the captain's chairs being restored now. Correct. And the other, um, the con station is being restored now. Correct, and one of the chairs, the other chair that is the right. other side of Data's. And they're all being leatherized, the chairs are, uh, if they need it? The uh, That's one thing we're talking about, and there are a few other uh, options as far as updating it to right. make it more like the, uh, the actual screen used one, including the captain's chair, which there were a few little nitpicky things I didn't even notice, but certainly... The people I have working on this actually worked on the television show. That's very cool. That uh, is what we never saw down at the bottom. So we're back in um, back in Data's chair. We're back at the ops chair. So wow, Dallas. So this is pretty comfy. But what is it? So what is it you're doing?